Okay, so we worked on our leg and foot control, how to use our legs properly, how to slow down motion moving backwards. Because remember, you're throwing up an arm bar triangle, especially triangles, he's going to either duck out, posture, or he's going to step through it. That's generally what's going to happen with the triangle, okay? So you want to use your legs the best you can to delay. Remember, slow down. You'll never stop it. No matter how strong my legs are, eventually he will break it down. So don't get in your mind. You can stay there all day. It's use of the legs, control of the legs, and then upper body attack. But the thing you have to pay attention to is angles. Angles matter most when he's down and holding you. I know a lot of guys in the game are postured, so the angles are they're very important no matter where he is, but when you get into other elms of the game, I, I like hammering guys in. I like, I'm, a, I'm a smotherer. I like to put this part of my head under your chin, and there's reasons for that. Because if I, if I put my head here in your guard, your shoulders are on the mat, and your tailbone's on the mat. Right now, there's so much friction in your body, you're not gonna move very well, and you're gonna have to work this way harder. So I have my own style of how I play in the guard. And the only way to work this kind of stuff, especially when we get to our overhooks and our trapping systems, is angles. And to do that, you have to get offline. So to get offline is simply, hey, I'm square with my training partner, he's so square that he can create the most amount of friction up my body if he chooses that I'm not going to be able to move my hips I'm not going to be able to get off the line to actually get a finish okay to do that I need to get off line okay and I'll explain once I have my training partner it will line up perfect is simply offline is what being on a hip okay being on a hip because now I'm working my way out he's got to overcompensate me if I have a foot on his hip, curling his back, and I'm on a hip. He's in deep, deep trouble. Things are coming, okay? And he better get rid of that foot on the hip, take away my angle, other words, I'm gone. I'm, he's gonna get attacked, okay? So, to do that, it's, he's gonna get my closed guard here. And, this, just come forward a little bit. I just wanna get the, the square right, okay? So, we're nose to nose, all right? We're square. Just imagine that, we're square. Now, I'm going to pivot offline. So when I'm here, I might get a little offline. So I might be a little offline. It doesn't matter where his hands are right now. So he's still square and I'm out to the side. Okay? This is where I have the advantage. This is where I'm going to attack. He wants to delay my attack. He takes this, gets rid of his foot on the hip and he squares up and now I'm here again. Now I'm back in that zone where yeah, I can hit hovering attacks, but for me to make an angle, it's going to be very difficult. I don't have an angle. So when we switch here, and he goes on his back. Yeah, good, like the camera. There. There. And on here, I'm not letting him angle. I'm pushing my belly out. I'm trying to smash him. I'm trying to make him tired. Without an angle here, he's going to die. I'm going to, I'm going to own him. Even here, when I'm working, I'm using my big chest, I'm looking to hit him, I'm looking to control him. If he makes an angle on me, I'm in trouble. If he stays square with me, he's gonna work hard and I'm gonna be able to move. If he gets an angle with leg and foot control, I'm in trouble. I have to counter that immediately or I'm in trouble. He's gonna attack me. So, as a top game guy, and I'm in someone's guard, I never let, get, let them foot, put a foot on my hip and I never let them make an angle. He makes an angle, I take it away. I take it away, I take it away. Because there's no point in letting, me, letting him get to that position. One good angle with leg and foot control, he could be behind me, he could be on me, he's gonna off balance me, and I'm gonna have to compensate. So vice versa, I don't ever wanna have to be square. I wanna be offline. I wanna use leg and foot control, okay? So, So if I have, let's say I do have my overhook here, he's square with me. If his head's on the same side of my overhook, I'm in trouble right off the bat. But let's just say he's square with me. Right now, he can have a ton of friction on me. I'm not going to be able to do much. I need to attack. I need to get offline. So I get offline. Now I have a foot on the, in the back. 
my hips are elevated off the ground, my foot's on his hip, and now I have my, my trap, I have an angle, he's gonna get attacked. It's very easy for me to get my knee on the inside. It's very easy for me to attack here. He sprawls this foot off the hip. He takes a step to his right. He drives his squares up. My angle's gone. Okay? So you gotta make sure when you're doing this, you're nice and tight, you're just curling, you're stretching, you're pinching your knees, and you're attacking. Okay? You can use a grapevine to make an angle as well. Okay, so if we're here, I have my overhook, and I'm like, oh, I can't make an angle on this son of a gun. I go here, and I start to bust him out. See how he tilts? Now I have my angle. Now I have my sweet position. He's still gonna beat that, but once he does, I already have my ankle. So I, once I lose that, he recovers. Now he's gotta deal with all my traps, my legs, my hips being off the ground. Much better position. Okay, but here, here, it's gonna, it's all timing. I'm trying to make something happen. I, I don't have much for angles. I'm just trying to attack. I'm setting him up to take damage unless he puts me in the perfect spot where I can time him. But like I said, he made that happen, not me. I just reacted. So getting offline, super important. Make your angles. Keep your shoulders off the mat, head off the mat, you're okay. Angles. Leg and foot control, use your grapes. If you use the close guard, well, we're going to get into breaking guys down and, and how to do it a different way, but that's more open body stuff. And you got to have this foundation. Other words, you're going to move like a slug, you're going to miss half the time, and the higher levels you go, you're not going to want anything to do with the guard. So learn it, get the basics down. When you get with your training partners, go through it. Don't, don't just take this as a if you do not have this down, don't use it as a like, uh, oh, that's neat, and go focus on the techniques and the finishes. A lot of finishes and guard systems are great, but if you don't have this basic work, if you don't know how to use your legs right, you don't understand body position right, you're never gonna know what system to use when. And you're always gonna be, down the road, you're gonna start suffering from it. You'll get some people, they'll trick them, they'll figure out the trick, and then they'll start smashing you. So get good at this, okay? And then from here, now you're ready to move on to some other stuff, okay?